Please subscribe to my channel and click on the bell icon to get the regular updates of my channel and do not forget to like, comment and share. Hello everyone, welcome to SaaS with ServiceNow. This is ServiceNow Major Incident Management Tutorial. In this video, you will learn about Major Incident Management and Process. We will start with what is a Major Incident. A major incident is a highly impacted unplanned disruption to an IT service which usually affects the whole organization or a major part of the organization. It always makes services unavailable in an organization which hits the business of the organization or have a major financial impact. For example, business or client application is down which impacts the clients or customers and also has a financial impact. Network unavailability due to which employees of the organizations are not able to work. Now, what is the difference between incident and a major incident? Incident is an unplanned interruption to an IT service. However, major incident is an unplanned interruption to an IT service which affects a business or organization. Incident can be resolved as per the priority and SLA. However, major incident has to be solved as soon as possible. Incident can be managed by all IT users assigned to their different teams. However, major incident is managed by a major incident manager by collaborating with different teams involved in resolution of that major incident. Now, what is Major Incident Management? Major Incident Management is the process used by IT operations team to respond to an unplanned event or service interruption and restore the service to its operational state. Overall, activities involved to restore major interruption to an IT service with a defined process is Major Incident Management. Now we already understood that a major incident is a highest impact, highest urgency incident that affects a large number of users and impact the business of one or more crucial services. In order to accelerate this resolution and minimize the business impact, a well-coordinated response process is required. So the goal of an organization is to have an effective and efficient system for responding to major incidents. Now the organization should make sure that during major incident, there is minimal service impact. So whatever service is impacted, there's a minimal impact to that service. They need to ensure that responsible incident manager, major incident team and core management group are allocated to manage a major incident. They need to ensure that stakeholders and relevant parties are well informed about the service interruptions and getting regular updates. They should also conduct a review of each major incident once service is restored. Now this review is to analyze the incident and understand what exactly can be done in the future to prevent a similar type of incident. Now once incident is resolved and closed, there should be a problem record for the root cause analysis. Now this major incident process is divided into different phases, which starts with identification. Identification is the first step in the process in which we identify a potential major incident. Now what is a potential major incident? Potential major incident can be identified automatically on the basis of rules defined in ServiceNow platform or manually in which existing incident can be proposed as a major incident candidate. These types of incidents are classified as major incident candidates and are also reviewed by major incident managers who initiate the major incident response process. The next phase is communication and collaboration. 
A timely communication during a major incident is very important to make sure that concerned IT teams, business stakeholders, end users and customers are informed about the impact and progress of the incident. During major incident, frequent updates are sent which has details about incident, impacted parties, progress on actions taken by different IT teams involved in that major incident. ServiceNow has out-of-the-box application, incident management communication, which is used to send communications during various incidents, including major incident. Now it's up to the organization whether they want to use out-of-the-box application from ServiceNow or they want to use some any other tool. It depends on them. Now the resolution of a major incident depends on the action of various IT teams. And it is really important that all different teams collaborate with each other and resolve the incident effectively and timely. Now next phase of major incident management is resolution. In this phase, resolution procedure is followed after technical fix and validations from the users. Incident is resolved and all associated child incidents are also resolved which also trigger notifications from ServiceNow to the users who reported the issue. And then we have post incident review. This is the final phase of a major incident life cycle. Once the major incident is resolved, a post incident review is started. We also say it as PIR in short. The purpose of PIR is to analyze the incident and understand what can be done to prevent a similar type of incident in the future and what are the areas to improve. You can create a post incident report when an incident is resolved. Now this report can be shared with different stakeholders of related to or associated with that major incident. Thank you for watching this video. Have a great day.